By the time we reach the start of the swim on Jura's northern tip, my fears have nearly got the better of me. I'm confident I can swim a mile, but in under 30 minutes with the whirlpool threatening to turn from tame to treacherous, I'm praying my fears don't turn into reality. Come on! Oh, that's so cold! That's all right. were incredible as well. I mean, they just grab hold of you. And this is where the ocean takes control. Keep it up! So you just go with it. Just let it take you where it wants to take you. Don't fight it at all. It's much better without a wetsuit, I mean. Just the effect it has on your body and your mind, it's extraordinary. once in a while, you know? Just take the time and have implicit faith in nature. Straight in! 50 more strikes! Jellyfish! Monster! Massive! Okay, right, come on, Robson! Around, let's keep going, come on! Garba's craggy shore may be more strange than beautiful, but after battling with the currents for what seemed like an eternity, Come on, the side of it is just the boost I need to finish the swim. It was really important that we touched Jura and then we ended up touching Scarba. Welcome to Scarba. You know, mad was that? I just crossed the Corrie Fair. <laughs> Third largest whirlpool in the world. And I'm proud of myself. Hand on heart, Simon. There's a few, only a few things I've been proud of in my life, and I tell you what, that is one of them. I mean it. Honest. I cannot believe what I've just done. It was a fantastic crossing. And thanks to you. No, or, no, it was fine. He did fantastically. He's, he swam one of the toughest crossings in, in the British Isles, and he did it on a spring tide, which was one of the toughest tides. So, you know, all things considered, it, we took about half an hour to get across, which is a great time. So, I just, all I can say is I'm, I'm in awe of, awe of what he did today. Thank you so much for getting me across. I mean it. Well, it's great that you came along and, yeah. uh, and did the swim. You know, wouldn't be the same without you as well. <sighs> what an amazing place. Yeah. <laughs> we swam the Corrie Reckon. Yeah, we swam the Corrie Reckon. Well done. Thank you Fantastic. very much. Thank you very, very much. And good luck for the rest of your journey. If I can do that, I'll do Holy Island. Everything just seems to be progressing to one sort of defining moment, and it's all taking shape. There's a sort of story here. This isn't just about coming across the idyllic and the beautiful of Britain. 
It's about dealing with self-doubt. It's dealing with achievement, endurance, human endeavor, everything. Bordering on life-changing, actually. I reach the end of my wild swimming adventure as I tackle my homecoming swim to Holy Island. If I don't complete this extraordinary journey, I think um, I'll regret it for an eternity. But when I finally enter the water, I'm certainly not going anywhere. Now look, I don't know where the hell I'm going. The castle was miles away. It was further away than when I started. And my enthusiasm rapidly and frighteningly turns to exhaustion. I thought it was OK. actually. Elbows hurting, knees are really, really being shot. I think not only has the ocean been talking to me, but I think my body's talking to me as well. So maybe it's, it's, it's all meant to be the last day today. So there's been a lot of people with me on this journey. You know, all the contributors, all these amazing people who've helped me to this point, but also my family have been with me every step of the way. And they sent me this card. Almost back to civilization. Goodbye, Scotland. Remember when we walked along the beach with Tay and your dad? And we saw that seal. That turned out to be an unexploded bomb. And it happened, we went up there, my dad said it's a seal. We went, oh, it's a bomb. It was reported and all this stuff was cordoned off. I completely forgot about it. So it was this big hoo-ha. And they blew it up. It's sort of amazing. So Taylor remembers that experience. The little boys love bangs. And then Taylor's written, yeah, Dad. And then a seagull covered you in poo. Good luck with the big swim on Holy Island. And I can't wait to see you. It's not looking too bad. Uh, he reckons it's going to take maybe 40 minutes. If you look at the distance, we're not going in a straight line. If I go from this place called Guile Point to the actual castle itself, I think that's the best route. I hear he's not wearing a wetsuit, which I'm a little bit surprised at. It's a tough swim. I will have a little bit of help on the way. I've got a lovely skipper. He's called Ollie J. He's going to help me on my way. He's going to be my pilot on the final swim and you'll know the exact point to start the swing. I think if it's much more than 40 minutes, I think he, the cold would start hitting him. Um, but we'll see. He's up for it. <laughs> it's quite an intimidating place, really. The main thing is, if you're in any problems, if the current's taking you anywhere you don't want, just give me a shout. I can come across. You obviously need to grab the bow of the boat, mm -hmm. and if necessary, we can get you back in here. Right. But we're hoping that's not going to happen, yeah? Yeah, I've got to ask this question. Is this a good idea? Do you think? <laughs> I'm not sure I should answer that. <laughs> Has anyone rather, you, rather you than me. You know, you've kayaked around here for, what, 11 years? 10, 11 years. 10, yeah. 11 years. Have you seen anyone go from here to the castle? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs>